Hi, everybody. Welcome to After the Checkered Flag here on Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. Ralph Shane and Jeff Emig with you. Heading into San Diego, we hadn't seen a big whoop pad yet this year. Most of them maybe just 10 yards or so, Jeff, and not very big in size. Here in San Diego, we saw huge whoops. A large whoop pad over 60 yards in length making a big difference. Yeah, and, and it was the shape of the whoops. They were really cupped out. So the rider's trying to hit it this way and uh, from the rear tire spin, and it cupped them out, made them like curves. So the teams and the riders had to make uh, the adjustments today with the front fork set up and to make the bike, um, you know, skim across the top of them. And uh, some riders uh, made the adjustments, and they got through pretty good. And at times, I think everybody had one of those uh-oh moments. But uh, for the most part, the winners and the guys that were fast, like Wilson, Seeley, Reed, and Villapoto, um, they were pretty consistent and uh, consistently fast through them. Now, other riders who were ultra fast, uh, like Tomac, uh, uh, Wyndham, and even Stewart, they really seemed to be charging those whoops, and uh, they had some big get-offs there, and it really cost them in the uh, championships. You know, we... we don't think we really surprised anybody with Ryan Villapoto getting a win here tonight. I think a lot of people would have believed he might be the guy to win here. However, seeing Chad Reed ride the way he did at the end of that race, even leading late in the stages of this one, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, it was. And I, I mean, this has been Chad Reed's house. He's had six wins and eight tries with a, with a second and a third. Now he adds another second to that. You got to feel good about what's happening with Chad Reed and 2-2 Motorsports on that Honda, that independent team that is a little over a year old. You got to be frustrated, though, if you're Chad Reed because you let one slip away in your place that should be your go-to place for the win. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fire him up. He knows that he can run with Villapoto, who is the champion. He's regarded as being, uh, you know, the most physically fit out there. Villapoto definitely showed that he was the most determined, but with that pass back on Chad Reed, I think that's really going to fire Reed up. And it's great for us, you oh, know, yeah. because because uh, these two guys are really uh, uh, rising to this top level. And at least here tonight um, and moving forward, and, unless something different happened in Dallas, I would say that these two guys have separated themselves from the rest of the pack. It'll be fun to see how it plays out in Dallas. We're going to be there. You can see that race live here on Speed starting at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time from the new Cowboy Stadium. For Jeff, I'm Ralph. We'll see you with another episode of After the Checker Flag, Post Dallas.